What's kind of interesting though is this was recorded in 1927. A lot of us like to compare Julius Daniels to Mississippi John Hurt. John Hurt didn't record until 1928. I kind of stole music in a way. You never know, but you know, maybe Mississippi John Hurt listen to Julius Daniels. Julius Daniels, one of the best in the fingerstyle canon. For some reason though, his name's often kind of left in the margins. It might be because it's not cool like Blind Blake or Mississippi John Hurt. He just got Julius Daniels, which is a lovely name. He's considered one of the forerunners for the uh, Piedmont style. Um, his playing's very reminiscent of Mississippi John Hurt. So if you like John Hurt, you should definitely dive into to some of this Julius Daniels stuff. So we're gonna check out the intro of 99 Year Blues. And keep in mind, you know, this style of guitar playing, it's a living and breathing thing, you know, as it happens. And don't expect what I show you in the beginning to happen in exactly the same spot in the same time later on in the song. It won't and shouldn't do that. So the song is essentially a G blues. Uh, we play G shapes, but he's capoed up. And so capo three, it's capo three. Capo three will get you, get you there. Um, it's kind of B-flat-ish, but I'm still gonna talk like as if we're in the key of G, so I'm gonna use the word third fret and open, even though we're in a capo. The first so four measures here, you kind of got like your standard call and response. So your first call is this. Kind of one of the more important, you know, Piedmont patterns. Like if you don't know this pattern, you, you, you gotta learn this pattern. And your first response, back to the call, uh, and then the second response. And, and I kind of break this up basically into three parts. So you got the first four measures, call and response, and then we got kind of a grouping of six. Now this part isn't really a call and response part. It's kind of more like an A, B, A prime section, like a really short little A, B, A prime. So this first part is kind of the A. So that's our first idea, we're gonna call it A. And here's our second idea. So yeah, you've got kind of your A idea, your B idea, and then like I said, we're gonna go back to this kind of this A, but it's more like an A prime because we slightly change it. So instead of going open E to third fret on the B, you're gonna go third fret on the E and then open E. The end here is just essentially a tag. So it's where he kind of starts repeating his vocal ideas. Uh, that's what we're doing here on the guitar. And yeah, it's a very it's a very Mississippi John Hurt little thing, isn't it? Um, I wonder if these guys knew each other. I'm gonna have all this tab available on my Patreon. If Mississippi John Hurt is your thing, you should check out this video next and learn how to play Stack Elite Blues. Thanks for watching.